Oh, hey. Hi. Did you uh, get all that stuff that I sent you? Yeah? Did you have any questions or anything? Or it was all pretty self-explanatory, right? No? Oh. You do have some questions? Okay. Yeah. You brought the stuff? Is this right over here? What? Oh, this, this here, right? Okay. Oh, did I really send you all this stuff? <laughs> all right, well, what, what kind of questions did you have about it? I mean, this is, um, the box is closed right now. The box is closed right now. And then you open the box like this. You close it and you open it. You close it and you open it. You close the box, and then you open the box. Yeah? So that, that part's okay? You got that part? Okay, so close the box. Open the box. Uh-huh. Sierra, abrir. Sierra, abrir. Close and open. Good. Okay. Oh, now it's closed. <laughs> let's get into... Let's get into the content that's inside this box. Okay, I'm just going to put it down for a sec. So, the first thing we find um, are these string lights. Yeah, for Christmas, right? You gonna put them up in the house? They're really pretty, 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 pretty. So, which part was complicated? This part here? Uh, this is where the batteries go. So, this is where you put the batteries. I'm pretty sure I put batteries in there too. Yep, yeah, right here, see? So, three batteries, and the batteries go inside here. You put the batteries inside the battery compartment. There's three batteries. So you have to look inside here first. And it's going to tell you if you put the positive or negative charge side, you know, which way it goes. So generally, you know, the easiest way without looking at those symbols is just to know that the flat part is always going to go with the springs. Yeah? So you're never going to put the bumpy part with the spring part, you're generally always going to put the flat part there. So, but if it's easier, you just take a look here. You can see one says plus and one says minus. So you want to line it up in here. So the plus sign is up here. So we want to make sure we take the plus sign on the battery and put it at the plus top side. You got it? And obviously the negative side, the minus, is going to go here. Okay, and you just push down like that, and generally you hear a little click. Okay, so usually the one that's beside it is going to be the opposite way. So usually they're not the same way. So again, we look for the flat part, and we're going to put it and push it up against the springs. Okay, so don't try and do this side first. Always try to do the part with the spring first. It'll be easier. Like if I try to do it this way this way first then it kind of like gets stuck see so the springs are there so you push down on them and then you can clip it in like that see because the springs are basically just like some extra you know so that there's more space do you understand okay so there's three batteries in here one two three and then all you have to do is close the lid and um the light should go on did you want to see them all right so i'm going to close the lid Oh, just give me one second. So, to close this lid, you kind of got you got to do this. You got to push this back first. Yeah. So once you've pushed that back, then you can squeeze with your fingers a little bit and then snap that into place as well. See? So now it's all the batteries are safe in there. Then to get the lights to go on, you have to push the button. Well there's the button right there see so you just push that one and then you're gonna get the lights okay and the more times you push it um, you can see there's like words on there description of what's gonna happen what colors you might see what rate or speed it's gonna go okay so what do you think do you like it <laughs> it's really pretty right so different different types of lights and just keep pushing it to get the different effects until you find one that you like. It's a little bit uh, 
a little bit um knotted up so maybe after I show you the other stuff um, then you know we can unknot it un untangle it it's a bit of a process so I should I should show you later okay all right so what else do you have here in this jar well in this box you have this really big jar jar you have this really big jar here and uh, yeah I put pineapples in it because I know you like pineapples you like piñas so yeah uh, what, what kind of help do you need with the jar 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 you need help to open the jar okay that's super easy basically you take one hand and you, you hold the jar with one hand and your other hand usually your dominant hand so if you're right-handed you would usually use your right hand for that and vice versa and you just kind of twist it and the way you know which way is you'll feel it it will get really loose if you try to go the other way there's just like a lot of resistance so you know that that's not the way to turn it so you just want to hold firm and just kind of twist it until you kind of feel a release and you just keep twisting it and twisting it and you kind of lift up at the same time and then it comes off right and in this part you just take your fingers just right underneath and just like lift it super easy there's no resistance there and now you have it open so here have some pineapples they're very very good nice dried fruit and then basically if you want to close it you put this piece on first on top like that and then you get this piece again um, remember you're still holding it you just put it on top first and then you just start to turn it in one direction until it gets firm and you kind of put your hand on the top go like this until it's completely closed and there you go now we've closed the jar so super simple super 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 simple next I see you have the Fitbit and the Fitbit so do you want to know how to put it on right okay so basically you you take it um, most likely you're gonna hold it with your dominant hand again so probably your right hand you put your left hand out and you just put it like that put it on top you can even balance it right and then you take this hand and you kind of put it here and while you're doing that you kind of push it against your body a bit usually you do it a bit lower but I can show you and then you're gonna take this part right here this part right here and and it's gonna go inside like that and then you just push it all the way down until it's like you know the tightness that's you know feels just right for your wrist and then you push that piece in there just push that little piece in there and that's it and then if there's a lot of extra left over you'll just use this extra piece to slide it inside so it's more smooth like that see so I'll show you again but I'll demonstrate on myself on myself on myself this time okay so to get it off you just open it like that like so and zip zip zippity do super super easy okay ready so you always want to make sure that the part with all the holes is facing towards you okay so put it on bring it close to your body get this little piece inside there you can just pull it around your wrist until you feel the tightness that's good and then you see that little piece right there see it see it do you see it so that piece is going to go right inside the hole like i demonstrated earlier and then the rest of this will slide in like that and there you go now it's on and voila okay is there anything else you had that you wanted me to take a look at a few more things in the box okay this little lighter this little lighter 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 all right so how do you work it okay well basically this one you just see this part right here you want to push down on it generally you would use your thumb so you kind of hold it like this kind of hold it like the how i'm doing it and then you would just push down 
but with a f aggressive kind of gesture. So, like that. You see? So, it's like a wheel here, kind of. And you just push the wheel down a bit. Okay, ready? Again? Maybe a little closer, maybe. See? So, yeah. And basically, this is like the liquid in there. So, once it's all used up, then it won't work anymore. So, you'll have to get another one. Okay? Yeah, that one was easy, right? Yeah, so remember, just put your thumb, roll it along the little wheel until it pushes this little pump. And then the fire will come out. Oh yeah, so we have this one as well. Yeah, this is the, um, the eyeshadow I got you, the NYX eyeshadow. How do you open it? Well, this one is like a pump one, so it's similar to the jar, you know how we had to twist it and turn it? So this one is the same, you just turn it, turn it. So at first, you're kind of doing it opposite. So you're turning the lid and the opposite direction that you're turning the the base just to get the little edge off you know just to get that final piece moving or if you just hold it really still and just turn that also works too so if i'm holding it firm and i just turn the lid you'll feel a little you know a little tension and then all done and as you're turning it it will go up 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 until you're able to just get it right up like that and then to apply it you want to just kind of close one eye at a time and you can just go like this to um, apply it. And after you apply a little bit, then you, you take the brush and you put it back inside. You dip it inside. You kind of like pump it a bit to get more. And if you need to, you can sort of uh, tap a little bit off on the edge and apply some more. And then when you're all done, you put it back on like that. And then you turn it again until all the way at the bottom you feel a little tension and then it's closed super 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 simple um so we also have this here this is a little ribbon a ribbon a ribbon a ribbon, a ribbon. so for this ribbon what exactly do you want to do with it oh you want to know how to get the sticky part well, basically at the back here, there's instructions. It actually says at the back here, peel off backing, press firmly to the package. Peel off backing, press firmly to the package. That's what it says like twice. So essentially what you want to do here is just kind of look for a corner piece where you can peel, you can separate the paper part from the sticky part that's attached to the ribbon, okay? So generally, generally, you just, just want to take your, your nail and try to find the edge. I can't say I'm very good at that, to be all honest, but you just keep searching for the piece. And then, well, that's not it. And then once you get it, like right here, once you get it, you just peel it. You just pull it back, like this. And now you'll see there's two, right? There's this, this one, which is sticky that you stick on the present, and this is just paper that can come right off. Okay, so the key here is just to like peel it from the edges, and you, you'll get it. Yeah, and then after that, you you stick it on the present. Yeah, you stick it on the present, like that. Okay, that's easy. Oh, you have another thing here, actually, two, two, I think. You have this, it's called a stapler. What do you use a stapler for? Um, it's for when you have lots of paper and you want them to stay together. So basically, you would open it up here. Actually, no. You, you get the piece of paper and you put it right inside here, right there. And then you press down, press down, press down. And then it's supposed to little staple is supposed to come out and like clip the papers together like attach them so they stay together so you just push 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 that's basically how they work super easy this one 
Yeah, if you had some paper, I could demonstrate. You don't have any paper. Okay. Well, you can make it from a tree. You have to get the tree and then, like, you make it into pulp. And then it's, like, wet. And then you press it. Oh, no, you don't want to hear about that. Okay. No worries. The last thing, then, is uh, this brush. So, it's just a simple purple hairbrush. Simple, simple brush. Oh, so you use this to brush your hair like this. See? Super easy. Kind of gets all the knots out. So on this side, it's got like sharp little teeth and little bristles. And then you use that and you run it through your hair. So it gets rid of all the knots. Sometimes you have to hold up a bit to really get out some of the knots. Otherwise, it will yank on your hair and it can hurt. get out the knots and then there you go just keep doing it until you're satisfied with the smoothness and softness of your hair and that's all see the brush the hair brush the brush the brush the brush and that's all that's all the stuff I got for you so I hope that um I was able to make things a little bit more clear for you and show you how to use them. If you have any more things you need help um, figuring out how to use, how to use, how to use, then please let me know so I can help you. Okay, let's go make some tea. <laughs>